Welcome to the Don't Call Me Skinny podcast. I'm your host, Coach Sarah J with CP Fitness. I'm an online nutrition coach and trainer who tells it like it is. I work with women all over the world through my online programs. Each Wednesday, I drop an episode dissecting diet culture norms to give you the facts and reality of nutrition and fitness and how they fit into your world. The current diet culture needs to be revamped, and I'm here to set it straight. My passion is teaching you how to take control over your nutrition, fitness, and overall mindset with my no BS approach. Please remember that this podcast is for educational purposes only and should never be used as medical advice. If you like what you hear today, I'd love for you to leave a review, a rating, share it with a friend, and as always, please keep coming back for more. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's do it. Hello, hello, and welcome to the 100th episode, the 100th episode, the 100th episode. Okay, that was a little excessive, understood, my apologies, but I'm excited if you couldn't tell, so excited. So, it doesn't feel like I've done 100 episodes. I've been doing this just over a year now, um, and I just love it. Uh, it's just getting better with time and I'm very excited to talk about a couple of different things that I thought I'd wait until this episode to talk about, tell you what's coming and you guys, this is just the beginning and I can't wait. Okay. So, uh, this episode podcast is actually going to be kind of about how I got to where I am, kind of like the evolution of the podcast a little bit and what's coming forward. So, The first thing that I want to announce, however, is y'all, I'm launching a little tiny new baby. This tiny new baby's name is called the Consistency Compound. Now, the Consistency Compound is going to be a subscription-based platform. So this is a monthly uh, cost to you. However, it's fairly low in price. It's only $19.99 a month, okay? And I have put this off for eight months. I have been working on this since sometime over last summer. I started working on it. I got really frustrated with it and I was just like, ah, I'm not ready for this. I'm, I'm trying to do all these things, trying to do too much. And I stopped. Partially, my perfectionism got into the way. I'm not going to lie. Okay. And I just decided it's time to do the damn thing. Let's go. So what is the consistency compound? Okay. It is kind of like a little mini Facebook, essentially. You have like your little homepage. It's it's very Facebook-like in, what's the word? Kind of in style, if you will, okay? Um, except there's going to be little different places that you can go. So I'm going to have a place that you can go get recipes from. I'm going to have a place that already has built workouts for you. So in each one, I have like a, a at home, a body weight, I have at home or gym dumbbell, and then I have a full gym and there's four workouts in each and you can go through there and pick what you need or want or want to try or do. Okay. So you got the recipes, you're going to get the workouts if you want. I'm going to go live in this platform each week and each week I'm going to go live specifically about form and how to do certain things in the gym. Why? This is the biggest gap that I see for women in strength training. They don't want to go into the gym. They don't want to do the weights because they are scared, which it makes sense. If you don't know what you're doing, you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to injure yourself. And I think actually more so than either of those, nobody wants to look like a fucking idiot. Everybody's so afraid about this person looking at them and that person looking at them and this person looking at them and that person looking at them. Okay. Which that's a whole different ball of wax. Nobody typically cares what you're doing. And if you have somebody in the gym, I've already talked about this, that does care what you're doing, tell them to go fuck off. But, um, so there's going to be what we call the form lounge where each week I'm going to go live in there and you'll be able to see different movements and how I would go about teaching people form. These are going to be compound movements, accessory movements, curls, bicep curl, all sorts of stuff. Like what you're supposed to be thinking, cues, and how is this supposed to feel and start understanding your mind to muscle connection. So I'm super excited about that because this is part of the in-person part of training that I really miss. 
all of my challenges, I'm going to be moving into there as well. So I just did that move into March challenge. This will all be done out of this um, platform. And then I do think, I'm not sure when I will start it yet, but I do think I'm going to go live and do like a 20 to 30 minute workout live each, either like one time a month or maybe every other week, twice a month, something like that. So I'm super excited where you can hop in live with me and then you have access to that video. So we are launching here coming up shortly in the next Well, I mean, by the time this airs, it really should be open, actually. So you should be able to click a link in the show notes and and get in there. So I'm very excited to bring this to you guys. It may be a little clunky at first because, of course, my perfection brain wants everything to be perfect. And it's not there yet. Like, it's not perfect yet. But there's already value in there for you to go in, even if it's just to get some different breakfast ideas, snack ideas. Um, My awesome VA Carrie, she has loaded it all up and it's all sorted out for you. If you're not sure where to start in the gym, there's already workouts loaded up in there, okay? So there's already shit going on, okay? So I'm very excited about this. Another thing, and and there's so much going on in my brain right now. That's, I can't even lie about this, but um, another very exciting thing, y'all, is my husband, by the time this airs, will be home. And if any of you know anything about my life, my situation, and my husband's job and everything else, that job is now coming to an end, and he is coming home, and he never has to go back, fingers crossed, ever again. And so this is like a huge transition in our life. And so I'm just really excited without his crazy ideas and support and belief in me that I don't ever have, uh, this probably wouldn't exist. So thanks, honey. Appreciate you. Love you. Okay. So let's talk about this evolution of my podcast. And you're probably like, this doesn't make sense. Why are you having a whole podcast episode on this? It's going to make sense as I talk. A hundred episodes ago, so episode zero, I was scared as fuck to do this, right? My husband had been really, really telling me and encouraging me to start a podcast, just do it. And he's like, this had been going on probably months before I ever started a podcast. I kept telling him, no, 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 nobody's going to listen. What would I even say? What are people going to think? What if it sucks? How do I even do this? I don't even know where to start. This is going to be hard shit. Like, how am I going to think of things each week to talk about? Like, maybe I should do it just like one time a month. Here again with my perfection fucking personality, right? And this is how it relates to you. These are all the same fucking thoughts I had the last time I started my weight loss journey. Didn't know where the fuck to start. Didn't like what I was doing. I was worried about what other people were going to fucking think. I wasn't going to have like drive or motivation every day to get up and do it. Like I didn't know what I was supposed to be eating or doing in the gym. And my husband was trying to help me and I didn't like any of that. It's like, I hate the hit, hit training, cardio bullshit. I hate it, but it's what I'm doing, right? It was the exact same overwhelming, anxiety-ridden feeling. And, you know, to be really honest, most people that start with their weight loss journey are really gung-ho and they're fucking motivated. Yeah, I'm starting Monday. Let's do it. Let's go, right? And I was not that way for this particularly. And I also, to be honest, wasn't like super like gung ho about my weight loss journey. It, I knew was going to be very difficult to get out of the bullshit I put myself into. I knew it was going to be hard. And so I wasn't super gung ho. I wasn't really like driven or motivated, right? I had some help from a friend and, and, and I was a little excited, but that excitement started like quickly came to feeling very heavy and kind of overwhelming. And while I had started the podcast and I had a couple of of people on, a couple of coaches and interviews and stuff, and I enjoyed it, right? I did enjoy it. It started becoming a chore. It got to a place where it's like, oh God, now what the fuck am I going to talk about? And now what I'm going to do? And it's like, I started to forget why I started this podcast to begin with. It it became very, um, I'm trying to think of the bright word here. It became very like robotic. 
It just, I, I, I did this, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did this, I did that. And I got to a point where I kind of felt like, well, people, you know, want me to show up now. So I feel obligated to do this. And I started caring more about what people thought and wondered, is anybody even listening to this? Like, I was just going to waste all of my time planning this and then recording it. And then is anybody even going to fucking care? Right. And, and part of this was when I originally started, I didn't have my own equipment. So I was doing things on the timeline of other people who were helping me. Right. Or they were having to leave their own equipment at my house so that I could record when I needed or wanted to. Okay. And I was in a space that felt cluttered and messy and it was just, it didn't feel good. It all just felt very heavy to me. Very, just very robotic, very heavy. I lost my quote unquote motivation and my excitement, the very little bit that I had, right? I was excited, but nervous as fuck, right? Like, and you know, to be honest, talking about that, you can't really like we give uh, uh, emotions uh, an assignment. So typically like your body itself doesn't understand the difference between anxiety and excitement. It's just what we, emotion we tie to it. But that's a whole different, y'all should join my brain breakthrough program if you want to learn about that. But, and, and, and not having my own equipment, I just felt very like on, I felt like I had to rely on others and their stuff and their time and their this. And I almost felt like it was an inconvenience. So about a year ago now, I ended up purchasing my own equipment, okay? And partially, you know, you don't have to have all the fancy shit to start a podcast, okay? Just like you don't have to have the gym membership to start your weight loss journey. You can literally just grab some dumbbells and go, okay? Or body weight shit and go. Get on a walk and go. It doesn't have to be all this stuff. The problem is, is that I got comfortable and I I learned how to use all the equipment. So it didn't seem like a very intelligent idea to try to like reinvent the wheel and do something new, right? Sometimes we do that in our weight loss journey. We're like, oh, I have to go shift and now I'm gonna shift all this way. No, no, sometimes like, let's just keep it, keep it simple. Do what you already know how to do. So that's why I just went out and purchased everything that I already knew how to use, right? Then I also started getting back that flexibility, right? I started getting back like I could do things on my own time and I didn't have to conform to somebody else's timeline or have to get somebody this thing by this date or this done. I have to record by here because I don't have the equipment anymore. Just became very excessive. So this allowed me a little bit more like I could relax my shoulders and breathe again. Okay. And don't get me wrong. Like I'm super thankful and grateful for all of that help I did receive. But think about your own journey. Shit's got to be done on your own timeline, okay? You have to be able to say when you're ready to go to that next place or when you need something. And if you continuously do things solely out of others or on others' opinions, on their timelines, in their space, and not for yourself, this is exactly where you're going to head. It's exactly the road you're going to go down, right? And so I just needed to feel like this was mine, like I owned it. And I didn't feel like I owned my podcast. I felt very detached, essentially. It was like, I did it all, but then I knew nothing about it after. And it was just not what I wanted, right? In August, this last year, I finally decided to redo our room, our spare bedroom. I took out a a mattress bed that we had had in here where nobody was using anymore. More people used it when we first moved in our house four years ago, but nobody's really using it now. And so I reworked this space into my office space. Maybe you've done that for your journey. Maybe you made like a little mini home gym, especially over COVID. Everybody was like, Good God, I mean, it was like trying to find dumbbells, not $100 a piece for a 10 pound was insanity during that time in Michigan. And so maybe you had to create your own space. We had ours in our basement, but I had to create my own space. I was then still working in an office that just my husband's office, which is not Zen for me, which is okay. We all have our own things that we like. And it was a little cluttered and it partially my own fault because we have a lot of shit. So, you know, 
It just didn't work. But even the color on the wall was extremely bright. It just didn't work for me. Okay. I put shit in my own space and I could put them where I needed them to be. So it made sense for me. And even starting last April, when I had gotten my own equipment, the drive and the want to show up again kind of started shifting a little. And I was really like kind of finding my own self, if you will, in this process. And when I made the shift into my office space, whoa, it like opened up a flood door. Okay. And I feel like after around 100 episodes, <laughs> I'm just now starting to get to the point where I'm creating my podcast to be what I want it to actually be, right? Back in September, I started uh, putting out Friday No Filter, okay? And it's something that I had been wanting to bring for a long time, but again, I was kind of advised, yeah, it might not be a good idea. One, one episode a week is fine and yada, yada which was okay. Like I appreciate again, the advice that I received, but it's not what I wanted to build. And I'll tell you this right now, come August, when I hired my mentor, um, she is amazing. My business mentor, y'all don't let people put your asses in a box. Don't let people tell you what you can and cannot do. Okay. If I want to put out a fucking ranty ass episode each week, I can do that. It's my fucking podcast. Right? So that's like, uh, we, we, we keep getting told, do this, do this, do this. Now you're going to come on here and be like, Sarah, each week you come on here and tell me what to do. I do, but always to where it fits for your life. And if it doesn't work for you, then obviously you just don't do that, right? I wanted to bring my one minute fuck off rants from Instagram to here because really Instagram, I like, you know, it's, it's social media. I don't like social media, but it's great and whatever it is for what it is, but this is really where I feel like I can be myself. And you know what? If y'all don't like me, y'all can hit the fucking, you know, unfollow button or turn me off or pause my ass or do whatever you want. You don't have to listen to this. It's okay, right? I thoroughly enjoy that you like listening to this if you are an avid listener, but you don't have to. Or like, it's like social media. It's like people like, oh, I gotta see this thing again. Oh, there she is bitching again. Like, Okay, cool. So I wanted to bring those rants here. And that's just really who I am as a person. It's who I am as a coach. And I wanted to be able to showcase that. Okay. And I don't need to have a minute rant about why we shouldn't be doing kickbacks on a stair climber for 20 minutes. I didn't have to rant about that. That didn't need to be a whole fucking episode. I just wanted to go on, say my little piece about it, move the fuck on with life. Okay. And, and so it's kind of like I'm just getting my feet like wet with like, oh, I'm finally building what I want it. I'm finally, I'm, and y'all, this is over a year in. December was a year. Think about your health journey. How many times are you like, well, I'm not where I want to be, so I'll just quit. It's been like three months. Like, why should I keep going? Nothing's changing. Nothing's this. Nothing's that. It is. And every time you quit on yourself during your health journey, you have to start the fuck over again. Could you imagine me going 30 episodes and just being like, well, fuck it. <laughs> like, oh, well, right. I had to push through a really kind of odd, uncomfortable, heavy, awkward feeling that I had. I just had to keep going. Okay. So now what, where do we go from this place? So I'm excited to say that I'm going to be adding another episode a week, one time a month, I believe, at least to start because I just, again, I'm just, I don't, I can make this whatever I want it. And that's the beauty about it. And I love that. And this is going to be called Monday Muscle or Muscle Monday. I haven't really decided. I'm still kind of all up in my feels about what it will be. But this is going to be an episode solely discussing training elements if like, if, if you can't tell a little bit, I'm missing that in-person connection with people. Like, I think something that we all missed over COVID was people and connection. And I'm trying desperately to find that connection again. I really thoroughly enjoyed in-person training. I just didn't thoroughly enjoy it at a big box gym or at the boutique gym that I did it at. I just, it was not my thing. But the connection with the people is the thing that I really am looking for. So being able to go in and and teach essentially 
and you guys get to watch and learn is exactly what I'm wanting. So the other reason here, you guys, is I want to be able to educate as many women possible on the how to train, why to train, what to do, what are the myths, what are the truths. This is huge for me. This radically changed my life. You know, everybody's like, oh, I'm I'm running and I'm getting on the cardio. Get off the cardio machines, get into the weights. It will radically change your life. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know what else to do about it. So this is what my answer to don't know what to do about it. I'm going to fucking do another thing that I think is valuable as fuck to try to educate women on training. It's so important and it's so hard watching in public spaces women who struggle walking up a step women who struggle. God, I was on, when I went to Florida this last week, people couldn't even pick up their carry-on bag and put them in the fucking luggage rack. Whew. That's, that's, that's not okay. I mean, if you're like five foot two, maybe you would struggle, but I'm just talking like your everyday average woman would struggle getting that shit up there. I watched women at the beach not able to run around with their kids, not able to keep up with their kids. Y'all, this starts now. It starts now. Y'all need to be in the weight training area. So, if y'all can't tell, I'm fucking passionate about this. This is the way I'm going. This is my new quote unquote direction or my, this is where I'm leading you all. This is where I want to go. And I hope that you guys come with me. So the first episode for this new Monday release will be sometime in April. Haven't decided yet. I got a lot of shift going on with my husband coming home. Well, now home. And we have some things here that we have to kind of iron out and details we have to get through. And so I'm not going to put a specific hard date like, oh, I'm committing to this date. It's like when it feels right, when it feels right, it's going to happen. Okay. So that's the thing I love about this, right? I don't need anybody's permission but my own to do what the fuck I want to do. And if it doesn't feel right, I have also the right to go, I don't want to do that right now, (laughs) okay? And going back into my subscription base, the Consistency Compound, I fought on this forever, like so far forever. I put up so many resistance walls because it wasn't perfect and it's not exactly how I want it. And you know what? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Just like you, you guys are waiting until... You're out of your busy season at work. You're waiting until life slows down with the kids. You're waiting until soccer's over. But guess what? Then baseball starts. Like you're waiting for dot, dot, dot. It's never going to be the quote unquote right time. You just have to start. And it may not look like how you want it. And people may have opinions and they may say things and you might not know what the fuck you're doing. It may look like no what like no what no one else is doing, which by the way, if you're doing shit that other people aren't doing, it's probably the right thing, which is sad and terrible to say, but it's true because what I continuously do every day is not what I see the majority of women doing. They're still out here trying to catch the crazy train fucking beach body ride. Get off. Get off the beach body. Get off Optavia. Get off. Get the fuck off. I don't know what else to say about it, okay? You have to understand, this is a forever lifestyle. There's no end date to this. I don't have an end date to my podcast. I hope that 100 episodes is just boop on the radar of where we're at. Who the fuck knows, to be honest? I'm just going to enjoy the fuck out of what I do right now. And you know what? Start enjoying this whole process of weight loss. Maybe you want to add muscle, right? Enjoy the journey. Enjoy learning things about yourself that you never thought you'd be able to do. Enjoy it doing it messy. Enjoy doing it imperfectly. I never thought I would be here, right? I have gotten to a place where what I am building feels good 
and feels right. And it's not about what someone else tells me to do or not to do. And you know what? If it works or it doesn't work, great. I can change. I can shift. And I can do that all based off of feedback from you guys, feedback from my clients to let me know, yeah, we like this. No, this is fucking, no, don't, don't do that again. That was terrible. Like, I'll tell you this, I got rid of, I didn't say I got rid of, I phased out, I should say, my community calls because they started becoming extremely heavy for me. I was trying to be mom and my kids had swim. And then even on the nights they didn't have swim, then I had no time to myself in the evening to do what I needed to get done. Like it just became a lot. Well, guess what? I'm getting some feedback from my clients. They're like, man, I really miss those calls. Man, I'm like, okay, how can we, what can we do about that? How can we compromise? How can I bring something back that I'm getting feedback for? It's good for me to hear the feedback, right? Um, but here, here's the deal. You can, you can go on your social media, you can talk to your neighbor, and you can maybe find 100 different people, maybe, that do something that you know that is similar to what I do. But what makes me different here is it's me. There is nobody else like me. And I might not be your cup of tea, and that's okay. Totally okay. Maybe you're not ready yet. That's okay, too. I'm here for you when you are ready, when that time comes. But I'm going to encourage you to just jump. Just start. Just take the first step. Just do it. Do it scared. Do it not knowing what the outcome is going to be. Do it differently than you've ever done before, right? Do it differently. Because at the end of the day, my job is not to tell you what to do. My job is to get you to step in your own space. My job is to get you to see what your true potential is really is. My job is to get you to a place to stand up for yourself. My job is to meet you where you're at and get you to the next level. My job is to tell you like it is, but to help you get out of where you're at. My job's to see you. I'm different. I'm not the same. I am no bullshit, but I will love and care for you like no other coach will. So with that said, I appreciate you for being here. Some of you since episode one, some of you have gone back and listened to other episodes. And to those who are just joining me, I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you for showing up. I really appreciate you. Okay. And on that note, here's to the next hundred episodes, guys. Can't wait. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time. And if you like what you heard, please be sure to screenshot and share it with others who may enjoy it too. Don't forget to click the link in the show notes to see the ways that we can work together to start your journey. Always remember that every day is a new day to do better, be better, and begin again. 